Now, before we get into the uh, explanation of our assignment for this week, I need to introduce you to something called nested lists. Nested does not have anything to do with birds or bird nests, but it does have something to do with these. Has anybody seen these before? We probably have, right? These are Russian nesting dolls, and they're called nesting dolls because the smallest one here fits inside the next one, which fits inside the next one, all the way on up to the largest one. And, and in, in real life, the big one is probably about this big, and the smallest one is probably about this big. These are really good nesting dolls. And the reason I can say that with some confidence is that after traveling to Russia and Ukraine, where they make a lot of these, you can tell the quality of these by how many layers they fit inside each other. Like the really cheap ones will have three or four or five. This one has, I haven't even counted, but you can see there's quite a few. So this is a really, really good example of a nesting doll. And so nested function is very similar or nested, not a nested function, but a nested list is very similar. Now this is a nested list here. And I'm, I want to show you how it's nested. So we have in the original list, item zero, item one, according to the index, right? So we've got the commas here. Item three in that list, or index two, is that. Then we have three and four. That's the top level list. So this whole item two here is a list, right? We can see that it's a list because it has square brackets and it has its own indexes, zero, one, and then surprise, surprise, we have another list that constitutes all of that. And in that list, it has items one, zero, and one. Okay, tracking so far? Okay, all right. So when we want to use this list, and this is more than just a list now, it truly is a data structure. It's a structure that holds data in a meaningful way. If I want to use this list now, I can print, and it's list L. So if I print L, and I reference the second, the, sec, the number two index, rather, not the, the third item in the list, it's going to give me this whole piece, this whole list. That's what it returns. If I want to dig deeper, I can go inside this list using the square brackets. So if I print <coughs> L, two in square brackets, and then two in square brackets again, then it goes zero, one, two. It's going to give me this. So I can drill down into that list and I can go even further. I can get the first item from that third, from that third level list by adding another square set of square brackets. So let's play around with this for a minute. Okay, so let me recreate that. A, B, and then C is this, C, C, and then D, D. And then you can see how far down I'm going in each list by the number of letters. Okay, and then the last two are G and H. Okay, so there's that structure again. And I can do anything that I want, anything that I could do on an individual list, I can do using that notation. So if I print uh, this item, li data, 
index zero, what's it going to print? A, right? So print A. If I print that, what's it going to print? Look carefully. Remember, it's each index starts at zero. So it's going to print DD because I'm accessing 0, 1, 2. So it's going into this list and then I'm 0, 1. Okay. But I, in, in addition to just being able to access those things, I can change the values of those things I can reach way down into this data structure using that notation and I can even go to the deepest level there oops what's going on item assignment it should what did I do wrong here no that's weird this should be working just fine let's try this one Oh, my bad. That should have been two. That's why. Ta-da! Now it's working. There we go. Just a little glitch in the system, folks. Nothing to see here. Okay, so I can also do this. I can append a value. Okay, because when I reference li data two in square brackets, two in square brackets, it's giving me this list. So since this is a list, I can append bill to that list. And now it's added. So it didn't replace one of those items, but I added it right after these triple Fs. And it's in there. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do with really just a little bit of code, you can get down into these, you can get values, you can change values, you can do all kinds of things. In addition to that,